why is it that when some people use psychedelics, they have spiritual clarity revealed to them, a religious-like flash of realization, while for other people, it's just like this kind of, oh man, the colors, or look at the trails, or it's just kind of like a, something that's used to enhance the overall vibe of the festival or the party that you're hanging out in. And I wondered, like, why, for me, I get, like, I, I could never imagine taking mushrooms or DMT or something like that at a festival full of strangers who are all kind of just, like, fucked up and partying and screaming. And But for some people, they couldn't imagine doing it in a sort of quiet, ritualistic setting. So, I, I don't know, I guess that probably does have uh, a result on the sort of effect that is brought out about the experience. Terrence McKenna used to have this funny quote. He would say, psychedelics don't work on stupid people. <laughs> so I thought about this a lot. Like how come for some people it just doesn't work that way? Cause like, for example, you hear me preaching for the last five years on YouTube, like you, you guys try this, try this, just eat these mushrooms. It'll change your life. Because for me, it changed my life. And I'm not saying like I'm like some genius or something because I mean for the all over YouTube you can see the psychedelic experience giving people a new horizon you know waking people up to their inner their inner mystery their inner spiritual selves and then you see other people just getting completely burned out and it just like it's so strange you know um, I guess this is why people say set and setting is very important. And, you know, we tend to think that sort of means like good vibes internally and good vibes externally. But this kind of really means like, um, for me, well, like, look, let's look at the way that the shamans have done it forever. The shamans forever in many different cultures have made this a ceremony. And I think when you create this space, like it's an energetic mental space that you create. You say, okay, this is this sacred space that I'm creating for this specific purpose of uh, take, having this experience with nature, with this plant. I'm gonna commune with this plant, this mushroom or whatever this is that I'm taking, this ayahuasca. And um, I guess it's intention, right? I guess it comes down to intention because if you just wanna get like fucked up, then maybe it gives you that. Maybe it just gives you what, you, what you're capable of receiving. And, and I mean, there's tons of people that go to festivals and have DMT for the first time. They're like, oh my God, like I was in the co center of the cosmic uh, circus and I hung out with God and then I was shot through a cannonball. You know, you hear b b people say these wild stories and then all of a sudden they're just back at a festival. And they're like, oh my God, what, a, <laughs> what the fuck? So like, I'm, I, it does happen to people just like spontaneously. I personally think that some people just aren't self-aware enough to break through. And I think these plants and these mushrooms and these compounds are actually intelligent entities. And, um, you know, they speak to you in a way that you can understand. So if you are someone that's going to be enchanted by the colors and not really... Um, not really be able to process the depths of your own self you just kind of have to stay on the surface and look at the glitz and glams of your perception then it's going to give you that <clears throat> if you're somebody that's uh, a naturally anxious person a naturally uh, person that suppresses stuff and wears a mask it's going to reveal that to you because we wear so many masks we might not even know which one is like fully us and these experiences will start taking away the layers, start chipping away until the core is finally, uh, you know, showing. And then most of the time we crack from that, you know, and that's what people call bad trips. Or um, we get a spiritual experience by saying, oh, my God, I thought I was all these things and I wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily stupid people. I just think that's, so, that's so, such a funny quote. Psychedelics don't work on stupid people. But I feel like maybe sometimes what people are going through in the moment just won't allow them to tap into those deeper things because for me it seems crazy. Like the psychedelic that it's 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 an experience if you don't have it. I feel like this, you know, if you don't have it, you can you can't even begin to understand 
what I'm talking about or what someone that's had this experience is talking about. You can like kind of pretend in your head and sort of maybe creatively understand what these what these worlds that they're painting are but unless you've had the experience like this knowledge is really reserved for the initiated for the people that have that have taken the step to experience this but yeah i think like sometimes people don't really know what they're messing with or what the what the real potential is here with these things because these substances can be tremendously life-changing in so many ways i mean in my own life i see I see how it has completely given me a new found understanding of my own self. It's given me inspiration to like chase my uh, creative passions instead of being like bound to some meaningless rat race that a lot of us get stuck into. And, you know, um, I understand, you know, a lot of us, it's hard to find an opportunity to break away from that. But these, these substances for me have allowed me to slow down a little bit to see where those opportunities pre present themselves and have the courage to inquire into those opportunities. And a lot of them, man, you find, you find that the universe has your back. You know, a lot of us don't have the courage to take risk, but the universe has our back a lot of the times. And sometimes shit won't work out, but it leaves a foundation for something else to, to begin. And... Um, I just feel like people that use these things at parties and stuff like that are just like missing it. You're missing the point. And who am I to say what the point is? You know, I don't know what the point is, but it just seems like uh, it seems so irresponsible and so American and so disrespectful to these to these compounds that have existed for, you know, billions of years. Who knows where these things come from originally? And who knows why they inspire the effects they inspire? Why do, why, how come when a human being smokes DMT, which is naturally found in our body, why does it produce this effect that changes our understanding of the way that we interact with the world? And um, for people that just view that as like a sort of experience or as like a commodity to be packaged and bought it just seems so strange to me and so, so like um, it's like oh yeah of course america that's what that's what we do here americans just you know suck the sacredness out of everything and just kind of uh use it as an excuse to get fucked up but i guess it's cool because eventually you mess with these things enough and you're gonna you're gonna have a breakthrough or you're gonna you know break your head you're gonna break your 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 mental space wide open like a balloon you're gonna pop open and then your all your thoughts will be gone i don't know like um i don't even know what the point of this video is i guess like i've just i just want to like it's just such an interesting thing it's such an interesting thing that like because i have a friend who can take 10 grams of mushrooms and he's just chilling he's drinking beer and he's just like you know it, he doesn't even resonate resonate with the stuff that i'm talking about when i'm like dude like the cosmic understanding the oneness between everything how separation is an illusion and like all these thoughts that so many of us have when we use these substances like why why don't you get that it makes no sense to me and he's just like dude why do you why? like you're just fucking you're just fucked up dude and you're thinking too much that's what he kind of says to me but like and I, I thought about that for a long time where I really thought like, damn, I'm just losing my mind. I'm just into these kind of concepts and I'm using these experiences to justify my own thoughts. But then I look throughout history. I look throughout shamanic cultures and spiritual cultures that have utilized these plants and they're all saying the same thing. And they're all saying like, there is a mystery hiding in nature and there are tools inside of our body and there are keys inside of nature. Like there's like a lock inside of our body and a key in nature that when these two things meet, this experience is birthed. And it's a, it's a divine experience that has resulted in the most poetic religious scriptures that we still utilize today. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it is stupid in a way to like, to uh, just disrespect these experiences for your own party's sake, you know? But who, who, again, who the f f frick am I to, to say um, how you should use these things? 
but it's just like, dude, these things can change your life. These things can change your life. And, you know, we see science starting to uh, work with that. You know, you see like people like MAPS and tons of different John Hopkins, tons of these like universities and bona fide. Uh, they're, they're getting grants and stuff now, like that company MindMed. They're getting grants to uh, use these things in therapy or clinical uh, settings for all kinds of things. PTSD treatment, depression, addiction. These things have so much use. And I guess including the use of being fun to party with. But um, yeah, I think we can really change culture. We can really change ourselves if we use these through the right lens it's like we have to to look at it the right way because when we look at it the right way it helps us categorize the experience in a way that's beneficial because like for example i think we go through life having many spiritual experiences you know so many of us have just been looking at the stars or looking at the sky the moon whatever just sitting in our rooms and all of a sudden you have this flash of realization and it's just like maybe it's just like an intuitive understanding of everything And then it just goes away because we don't have the cultural significance that places that experience into a category that we can use to implement into our daily lives. It just fizzles away and it's it's just a weird, I had this weird experience. We don't even have language to describe those things. But I think that this state can be constantly invoked through the use of using mushrooms once a year or once every couple years or microdosing or um, you know, whatever works for you specifically or anything, you know, these things can reveal to us how spiritual practices can be utilized. The importance of mantra, the importance of taking a second for some self-love. All of this can be revealed through a one-time use of ayahuasca, of uh, 5-MeO DMT, of smoking normal DMT, <coughs> and then, or, you know, psilocybin or all mescaline. There's so many different uh, uh, natural variables out there that interact with us in a way that's just like who knows you know and we've been using these things for thousands and thousands and thousands of years so we have a historical and cultural and traditional data pool of knowledge that that can be tapped into with the right resources you know look around on the internet arrowwit or buy the book the encyclopedia of psychoactive plants and just um we can start building a culture here in the u.s that um, inspires a a shamanic revolution because I think it's super revolutionary not to use these things at in in festivals and with your friends to get fucked up but to use these things as a way to reclaim our connection with nature to reclaim our sovereignty as as beings that are able to explore with our consciousness you know these things don't need to be illegal we don't need governments telling us what we can and cannot use to expand our minds the data is there the science is out trust the science you know that's been our motto for the last two years trust the science the science is out it's unanimous it's not an opinion it is a fact that these things are life-changing so i guess what my message is is you know start to look at them as being an opportunity to change your life instead of an excuse to get fucked up but again who am i my name is dakota this is my youtube channel click subscribe if you like videos like this i talk about psychedelics all the time i have a podcast called a place for humans podcast and uh let's get my intro let's play my intro a little bit and see what we got just so you guys can feel a little bit of a little bit something special running through your veins a place for humans podcast is what it's called dakota of earth is my youtube channel click subscribe turn on the notifications head over to facebook instagram dakota went Life is strange. It's a mystery. It's a mystery, baby. And hey, nature is trying to communicate with you through plants and through toads and through all kinds of mysterious means that we just casually walk past normally. Pay attention. That's my message. Pay attention. Much love. Keep on omen in the free world.